The Annex C will expand our television system and will also provide channels to subscribers of a new U.S. pay TV system. Whit Fraser reports. Telsat Canada employees and their families were out in a tent this morning near their offices to watch the liftoff. The company has more than $50 million in the space shuttle. It's the Annex C satellite. But more than money, Canada's future in satellite communication is involved in the Challenger. Canada has been a leader in space communication, and it's fighting to remain in the forefront. Actual photographs from the Challenger show the satellite rotating in its carriage just before ejection. But moments before it was fired, the spaceship entered an area where there are no TV transmissions to Earth. But this animation shows what happened. The Annex C was fired into space from four springs. It traveled close to the main ship. A rocket was then fired, putting it into its first orbit, an egg-shaped orbit around the Earth. That's where it is now, and technicians at the Ottawa Telsat tracking station are delighted. Everything they say is working just fine. Everything's fine. We're, uh, everything's normal. We're, the satellite's in its uh, predicted orbit, and um, we've checked out the satellite. It's healthy and we're just going on with our whole operation as per normal. Over the next week, these technicians will keep tracking the satellite and will maneuver it into a circular orbit, so it'll be traveling at exactly the same speed as the Earth, giving Canada one more advanced communication satellite. Whit Fraser, CBC News, Ottawa.